welcome to Divine Bow Beginnings 93. Oh, what's up, DBB93 Squad? I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel, as well as our returning subscribers for coming back. And to everyone that is watching the video that are not subscribed to the channel, welcome, you guys. This video is for our Capricorns, and this is for September monthly, you guys. So, months are moving fast and rapid okay so if you guys are looking to purchase a personal reading or to follow me on social media or to donate to the channel all that information will be down below in the description box so all you got to do is click the arrow that's pointing down and you will have all that information so you guys without further ado let's get into your reading and make sure you guys take what resonates and let what doesn't fly bye bye okay so the energy here is I feel like it's the cleanup session like I'm hearing the Barney song clean up clean up everybody do your share like and I know some of you may be like what listen it's the end completely like if you've been going through a hard time where you feel as though you've been around people or you keep bumping into people who doesn't have either you at heart or you know I just I just feel like a mixture of things right now it's like being in situations where you're not valued or you know you just want to walk away from what no longer serves you. That's the best way to put it instead of trying to sum it up into everything else. And that's what you've been doing. And I feel like this reading is literally coming from the last month, August, until now. And it's, it's just like a story. Like, your life is being told in a storybook here. And I feel like when it comes to your situation... It's like once you get a few people out of your life, you look again and then you're like, okay, here we go. It's time to clean up again. And I feel like it's because people don't value you or the people that you thought you were around, like somewhere in there, they're not trying to progress. And you feel like, you know, it's not a part of what you're trying to go into. Now, another thing to say about that is everyone can't go with you on this journey. And you're starting to understand that. I feel like for some of you, you've been holding on to the past where you want to either bring friends with you or, I mean, it could be family. But you see that sometimes you have to let that go and let them venture on their own. I feel like when it comes to a situation, it's a bittersweet moment for you. It's like this awakening of... Wow, I'm at the tip of the iceberg. Do I jump? Or do I wait for these people who has always promised things in my life and never came through? Mm. Okay. All right, y'all. I feel y'all. Y'all getting deep early, too. Okay. We have here the eight, number eight, justice. Take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end. Fair and objective decisions. Something that has to do with you speaking up for yourself. Something that has to do with balancing out the scales. You're more of a giver than a taker for some of you. For others of you, you've been more of the taker than the giver. So now it's kind of like the roles are reversed. And you're learning how to give. I feel like when it comes to a situation. Somebody could need to bring clarity to a situation. You could have put off communicating to someone. And it's like now is the time to communicate. This person could be your twin. Or soulmate because well no twin because you see these two fairies they're twins wow 
<laughs> this person could be your twin. I feel like the reason why you put off communication is because you had to take care of things in your life. And now you come in to bring this justice forward, to move things forward. And it's taken a lot out of you to step away from this connection, from this situation. And I just feel as though you feel like the truth will set you free. You may have felt like telling this person everything that was going on in your life would have turned them away. And I feel like with this person, they've either been through some of the things you're going through or they are going through the same thing. Because if you see one of the twins, they have their sword in their hand. And then this is like you reaching for your sword, which goes into the next card, the 11 strength. So it's like you need the strength to pick up your sword and speak your truths. Okay, you have here the grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, time to embrace how wonderful you are. And I feel like part of this forgiveness is forgiving yourself. Um, This strength to me is taming your inner beast, you know, I feel like for some reason coming together with this person has brought out triggers in you. And you may not have known that at first. You may not have known why this person was actually brought into your life. You just felt this deep connection. And to me, this is the same twin that's right, I'm sorry, that's right here, that's right there. Same hair placement and all. But... This twin has their sword, like I said. So this person has tamed your inner beast. And for some of you, you feel as though, how? How have they done this? Like, no one has ever gotten me this way. No one has ever stepped forward this way. No one has ever made me want to change my ways and make me do this and make me do that. But not only is it that, like, you had to realize that you didn't just want to do it for this connection. You wanted to do it for yourself. And I feel like that was a part of why things were delayed so much. As much as this person was ready to talk and ready to communicate, they didn't understand why things were delayed. Well, because you had to find your self-value. You had to find your independence. Somewhere down the line, when you lose that, you put a barrier up. You put a shield up. And... It was like everyone just kept taking and taking and taking to you became that mean, evil person where it was like, and not just say evil, it was just like you just got tired, you got fed up. And it was like when this person came, they shined the light on you. It was like you were in a dark spot. And I feel like when it comes to this justice, this is your ultimate goal is to connect again with this person this is what you've been waiting for what you've been longing for it could be either to start a family to you know just start this connection over to kind of give it a rebirth it reminds me of um you guys served when he did the the heart thing and he was pumping his heart that's what that reminds me of okay we have the ace of springs Ace of Springs, excuse me, not Springs. <laughs> it's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunity. So you could be, you know, for some of you, I feel like this card is about moving. I feel that very strong. Hmm. You could be moving to relocate to a new job, to relocate next to your twin. Um, and that could really blow their socks off. Um, but definitely make that communication first. But I do feel like that's the step forward for you. you you've been pondering upon this. And I feel like finally you're ready. It's like you want to back away from what others been saying on how you should not, you know, 
move to somewhere you don't know or you know you shouldn't pursue this because you don't know the outcome and things like that like I just feel like it's all that naysaying in this card but it's saying step forward take action it's time to go after your dreams which also it's like a two for one your career will be a part of that you may be going into business with your partner and you probably don't know yet but it's coming about if you don't know the person but if you already know the person you may be you know coming together collaborating on ideas and start a business you never know so you have here next the five of winter walk away from dishonest associations realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness sometimes that's not worth the effort i'm sorry something that's not worth the effort so you could have been dealing with the karmic situation where you were like i don't want to leave this person high and dry but as you continue to deal with it you were like okay I'm not happy, right? Or it could be friends and people. That's why I said that Ace of Springs gave me that energy of naysayers. This is not going to happen. That's not, you know, this person isn't waiting for you. Push it aside. If someone doesn't support your dreams, that's okay. They don't need to see your vision. Only you need to see your vision. And that's all that matters. But if you got someone that's con constantly, like continuously, giving you negative and bad energy, walk away. It's not worth tainting your positive energy. And that's what, you, that's what you're doing. You're like, I can't do it. Now, for some of you, you're walking away, like I said, from a relationship. You see two people in the back. Like, the relationship wasn't satisfying. Not saying it in that way. It, it probably wasn't. I don't know. But it's saying that it's, it wasn't your happiness. Now, I feel like for somebody, this could be a long-time friend because he has a snowball in his hand. Like, he's going to throw the snowball. So it's like, it's a bittersweet walk away where it's like, you know, I'm saying goodbye. Like, this is kind of the energy of moving, too. It's like, I'm saying goodbye, but I want to do one last throw to snowball, meaning I want to have that one last hurrah, that one last fun. Um, But not only is it that I'm feeling with this card, someone could have... The karmic that you were either talking to or the other person was talking to, Who's, it, it could be a cross watcher. I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm picking up a different energy. But whoever it is, if the person was dealing with the karmic, they're done with that. They're walking away. The karmic had somebody else, and the person found out. But they're working through this forgiveness to go forward towards their happiness, okay? You have here the king of autumn, someone that's compassionate, someone that's accomplished, charismatic, and gifted, okay? So it says, be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way, a good person or company to work for. That's that same energy of moving, you guys. But it's also, you could be going into a new job. This is that energy, like putting your best foot forward, allowing your creativity to shine. Being in your emperor energy doesn't necessarily mean you have to be a male. You can be a male. You can be a female. It's just the energy that you're embodying. But it's, you know, being able to interchange throughout energies to accomplish something, to conquer things okay so these last three cards came out together and i'm gonna read them as a group 
we have here the six of winter positive changes are on their way a welcome relief from troubled times traveling or relocating you guys these cards fell out after i got these cards over here okay and i was just like okay well i'm gonna just start the reading you know i'll look at them during the reading it'll be fine whatever wow whoa blowing my mind right now like those cards gave me traveling and this is what i see moving forward relocating going after what you want the job you want it could pay better in a different location or even if it doesn't pay better it just brings you more happiness to move and to go closer to what you want prince of summer Ooh, romantic mm, okay flirtatious too falling in love suddenly being swept off your feet the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience so it's saying you know indulge in this love enjoy it but at the same time Make sure both of you are on the same page. Don't just go after what you want because that's what you want. It's saying have this equal balance. Your wish is coming true, but make sure that's what this person wants. Make sure that what you're presenting is what you can carry through with. Okay? You have here zero. Hey. You know, and this is the beginning. The dreamer. Embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. Don't back down now. You got this. Okay, so let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on, Capricorn. Let's see. Let's see what comes out. I feel like a few cards want to jump, so hold on. Hold on. Okay, slowly, slowly, slowly. I mean, I like them jumping out, but we just don't want them to hit the fluff. You know? have here the ten of cups right out the gate what come on the eight of cups okay okay the moon get it the five of swords okay 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 that's to be expected that's to be expected with the tower great so <laughs> no need to worry about them five of swords, baby. Ten of cups. The wish fulfillment, the emotional fulfillment. That moment of joy. The inner peace. The outer peace. The free-flowing energy is here. What you've been working hard to produce. What you've been trying to find probably your whole life. We're going to be honest. Because things had to be illuminated. You had to see the five of swords. The backstabbing that was going on behind your back. Not only that, you had to see the self-sabotaging that you were doing in this situation. Saying that, you know, listening to others that this, you know, okay, this card wanted to come out too. To say that this wasn't going to work out. This wasn't going to be. And you kind of believe in it. And I know cross watchers, y'all probably like, what? You believed it? No, that's okay. Because everyone's not going to get it when you get it. They have to come in their time. But with the tower coming down, it gives you that rebuild of the foundation that firmer foundation to show you that 
what you thought was a, you know, was a fluke, wasn't. It's true. But we had to change some of that, the sources of mindsets. We had to come in and change what you thought. It could have to do with this emotional fulfillment. What you thought was emotional fulfilling wasn't really that, if that makes sense. But with this situation, you get that. I feel like the emotional fulfilling that you used to have was more of, I give you a half a cup. But you got to work for the other half. And then you're like, I'm working for the other half. What do you mean? This is an equal situation here. But because that person wasn't ultimately your person, it made you go into that either hermit mode, the depression mode. It made you start going into the codependency energy where you experience addictions and didn't realize that you were going through that so what you did is you had to work on building your own cups back up the eight of the eight of pentacles is here because you worked hard to see past that film that was over your eyes for what that sabotager was doing and that's okay because that was part of your lesson but now the tower is here to bring in the next card which is the death the death of not really having someone that's on the up and up let's just say that because we're not going to talk bad about any karmics here it was all part of a lesson and that's okay you know because if you would have never been going through that situation with that karmic then you would have never found your ten of cups. So we don't do that. We don't talk bad about karmics here. I mean, even though sometimes karmics can do some stuff, but at the same time, it's like needing to see and needing to have that go on so you know how not to treat <laughs> your lover. Oh. The lover card came out, you guys. Soul connection. You had the twin card come out. Now we got the soul connection. So it's... It's you needing to realize what this connection really was. And how things had to separate to actually see that what this was worth and to stop playing games for some of you it wasn't a game it was you know what it was but at the same time like either you wanted to uphold your family beliefs um but at this point you're like i'm not happy <laughs> that's not it we do have here the Three of Cups. This is abundance. Mm. Beautiful overflow. Abundant. Of abundance. Because I feel like this person, when they came in, they literally, like, woke you up. It's kind of like they poured cold water all over you. And you was like, whoa, whoa, wait. Who, who are you? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> the Three of Swords. You healed the heartbreak that you were going through because of this Queen of Cups. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. I, like I said, this person came in and poured cold water all over you. Ooh, I got angel bumps. I got goosebumps, y'all. So it was like you couldn't believe that this type of situation was true. Well, the sun is here. The sun card. This new beginning is here. And it, it makes you feel like I'm living my dreams passionately now. Oh, the knight of swords. Oh, my goodness. You, you're coming in. 
fast. But at the same time, you're coming in to protect. I feel like part of some of you, um, the problem here was that you felt like you maybe didn't know how to protect. Maybe you... The best way to say it is maybe you didn't grow up learning that. Like, but I feel like with this person, they brought that out in you. And it, it was like a joy ride. Like, I didn't know how to do that. How did you bring that out of me? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's for somebody. I don't know. But <laughs> I just feel like that's what it is. It's like you want to protect this person at all costs. This person is your prized possession. Like, I know it's probably bad to say it that way, but this person intrigues you. They pique your interest. They pique your spirituality. They pique you in every way, shape, and form. And now we have the Princess of Juan. The passion is here. That that fire burning energy. The oh my goodness. The Four of Cups, that luxury life that you want. This person, okay. This person, anything they touch turns gold. You and them. Together, you guys are masterful. Beyond what you can see right now. I feel like once you take action, this person is going to take action. It's going to be equal balance action here. Because the next card you guys have is the Six of Cups. This, you know, pleasure, the reconciliation here. But not only that. I'm feeling, I'm feeling something with this Four of Cups. Yeah, it could have been you turned down a offer. Okay, grant you that. But no, it's something else. It's something else. I don't know. I, I keep hearing, like, I can't let you get away. I can't let you get away. Maybe you feel like the person is losing interest. Like, you've waited too long to end things. Mm, okay. Seven of Swords. This situation has you in your head. You feel the five of this the five of pentacles you feel worried you feel left out in the cold you feel abandoned you probably don't know what this person is doing in their life that's why but that's okay that's fine because things are going to change you have the six of disc and the ace of disc which is the six of pentacles with the ace of pentacles success with the reward okay so i feel like that goes towards the cross watcher but not only towards a cross watcher, you as well balance out here with an offer. And actually taking the gift from the divine. Okay, so let's get you guys an oracle. Let's get you an oracle. I feel like when it comes to this situation, you just need to stay out your head. Stop overthinking it. You're overthinking it. This person, if you feel this way about this person, the person feels the same way. They mirror you. They mirror you exactly. You guys are talking in the 5D. You Actually, you're talking while you're awake as well. Just pay attention to your signs and synchronicities. This person could be talking to you through music, through like signs, through numbers. Pay attention to that. I feel like you guys are already communicating. And because you you feel like it's not like physical in the 3D, that's why you're like, well, I don't know if this person still wants this. Pay attention to your signs. You're going to like once you start paying attention to the signs and looking things up or pay attention to the animals that you're seeing and looking those up, you can look them up on Google. Um the way I look things up is spiritual meaning of seeing, you know, um, a butterfly or a squirrel, you know, things like that. Or you can look it up, um, angel number and then whatever number you keep seeing. Like right now it's 303. So go to Google, type in angel number 303. 
don't always take the first suggestion you see but go down and see which one resonates with your soul that's the message that you need okay so here we go for your oracle you have when i accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher i will always be guided back to the light i am the dreamer of my dream oh my goodness you guys dream on baby dream on so you guys if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel if you haven't given this video a thumbs up please give the video a thumbs up and if your bell notifications are not turned on please turn your bell notifications on i will see you guys in the next readings have a great day bye